nothing less, we'll be voting against. Dr. Zhang Yan. I rise to support this bill. Uh, this bill aims to promote uh, safety. Now, firstly, let's see, um, it will strengthen the regulation relating to alcohol interlock to make the alcohol interlock program mandatory to repeat and the very serious first, first time uh, drink driving offenders. And also it will increase the penalties the penalties for drivers who flee police or for those who provide false information or refuse to provide information which may lead to the identification of uh, the fleeing drivers. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm particularly uh, concerned about road safety because we do have a, high, a large number of uh, vehicle crashes uh, in New Zealand. I have a look at the uh, 2015 calendar year, um, we had 291 fatal road crashes and 9,446 injury crashes and 319 deaths and 12,270 people injured. So th these numbers are quite high. Of course, all each death or each injury would cause huge emotional and financial harm to uh, families and also broadly to societies. So we have here a social cost of road crashes. Um, basically, uh, road crashes impose intangible financial and economic costs to society, while these costs include reduced quality of life, reduced productivity, medical and other resources costs. So if you convert this into the actual dollars, then the, the numbers are very high. So, um, for example, here the, up, the updated value of statistical life is 4.14 4 million per, fat, for, per uh, fatality at June 2016. So, um, Mr. Speaker, it is particularly important for us to strengthen our regulation to ensure or to promote road safety. And this bill also, also aims to promote greater economic growth. Uh, and also productivity by introducing a new regulatory framework for small passenger services. Um, it will enable innovative and small passenger services to deliver benefits to consumers while managing safety risks. Mr. Speaker, because modern technology, it is compulsory for us, it is um, important for us to make changes to accommodate the advance of modern technology. So smartphone has been so popular and so easy for us to use, for example, Uber. So it is important for us to have updated regulatory regime for, for, for um, the small passenger services. And a better managed passenger, small passenger services would potentially have the benefit of managing congestion and therefore has the potential to improve the productivity uh, of our economy. So, Mr. Speaker, I commend the bill to the House. David Clendon, a five-minute call on behalf of the Green Party. Oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker.